Good day guys, such a beautiful time to be here. Uh, on this tutorial, we like to be talking about the different types of plastics, okay? And we'll be talking about the plastics. What is this plastics that we are actually talking about? All right? So, I hope you guys are on seat and ready to learn. This is the MBBS Niger YouTube channel. Kindly do subscribe and like our videos, right? So we'll be talking about the plastics and the different types of plastics that we have. Okay, so uh, this is just like motivational post before we start the tutorial. All right, so we'll be talking about introduction to the plastics and the different types of plastics, which include the chromoplast and the chloroplast, the leucoplast and the amyloplast, right? The elioplast and the proteinoplast, right? There are so much, okay? And we'll get to, first of all, we'll talk about these plastics and what are their uses in, in the cell and so on and so forth. And so for the introduction, we say uh, plastic is a membrane unbound organelle found in the cells of the plants, okay? It's membrane bound and it's found in the cells of plants, algae, and some other eukaryotic organisms, okay? And plastics were discovered and named by Ernst Haeckel and Schimper, right? And, and Schimper was first to give a clear description. And you can see that plastics are the site and manufacture and storage of chemical compounds used by the cells of autotrophic youth carriers. This is like, and um, plastics are basically in the the plant cells. Okay, that's why you could see over this this handouts you could see, and those plants, um, plant leaves and everything. Okay, um, uh, what's about the chromoplasts, right? And the chromoplasts are plastics. And heterogeneous organelles responsible for pigment synthesis and storage in specific um, photosynthesis eukaryotes, right? And the presence of uh, carotenoid uh, pigments make them colorful, right? Chromoplasts are plastids, right? Um, storage of uh, specific photosynthesis, uh, right? So chromoplasts are formed from leucoplasts or chloroplasts. Right. Change of color from green to reddish during the ripening of tomato and chili is due to the transformation of chloroplast to chromoplast. Right. So the orange color of carrots is due to chromoplast. So this is like basically chromoplast give this um, brilliant color to this. Uh, chromoplast give this brilliant color to um this uh fruit okay so i will be following up and what about the chloroplast and the chloroplast they are the are the greenish and plastids which possess a uh, photosynthesis of food okay uh majority of the chloroplast of the green plants are found in the mesophyll cells of the leaves they vary in size shape and number so talking about size they have variable thickness of two to four micrometer and length of five to ten micrometer shape and they may be spherical lens shaped oval discoid or even a ribbon is shaped in some plants right so number a uh, their number varies from one one parcel in the enclamid dominus right and a green algae to 20 to 40 parcel in the mesophyll too so this is just our uh, a pretty structure of the chloroplast you can see the outer membrane you can see the stroma you can see the granum you see the intergranal talacoid you can see the inner membrane too so structure of the chlor uh, of the chloroplast okay so like the mitochondria and chloroplasts are also double membrane right and they are double membrane bound organelle having outer and inner membrane uh, their inner membrane is relatively less permeable to substances than the outer membrane okay and the space enclosed by the inner membrane of the chloroplast is called the stroma the stroma contains a large number of organized flattened membrane or sac called the talacoids which are arranged in the stalk-like piles 
of coins called the grana or the integral talakoids. The talakoids of different grana are connected by flat membranous tubules called the stroma lamellae. The membrane of the talakoids includes a space called lumen. All right. And the stroma of the chloroplast contain enzymes required for the synthesis of carbohydrates and proteins. It is also contained in small double-stranded circular DNA molecules and ribosomes. Right? The ribosomes of the chloroplast are 70 OS. 7 OS. And they are smaller than the cytoplasmic ribosomes, which are 18. Okay? What is the function of the, this chloroplast that we are talking about? It functions in photosynthesis. Okay? The chloroplast functions in photosynthesis. That's a light reaction and dark reaction on storage of starch. What about the leucoplast? Uh, they are the colorless and plastids. The leucos, uh, leucoplast are actually colorless and which generally occur near the nucleus in non-green cells. They have variable size form and stored nutrients. The granum is absent and there are three types of leucoplasts. We have the amyloplasts, which are starch containing leucoplasts. We have the elioplasts, which are they store fats and oil. We have the alluroplasts. And these leucoplasts store uh, proteins, right? Talking about the proteinoplasts, and the proteinoplasts are specialized organelles uh, found in the plant cells. And the proteinoplasts belong to a broad category of organelles known as um, plastids because and they lack pigment. Proteinoplasts are specifically a kind of leucoplast, and they contain um, crystalline bodies of um, protein and can be and the site, the site of enzyme activity involving these proteins. Okay, guys, with this, we have come to the end of our tutorial on the plastids. We got to see the different types of plastids, the leucoplast, the chromoplast, the chloroplast, the proteinoplast, right? Um, so we, we call this an end to this tutorial. These are basic um, plastids that are found in the plant cell with this yeah this is the mbbs niger youtube channel and we have come to the end of our videos on cellular organelles okay guys all right so see you guys in the next uh, video we'll be picking a whole different topic in and uh, physiology okay i think before we pick up a whole different topic in physiology we'll be talking about cellular transport when we get to talk about the active transport the passive transport okay you guys talk about diffusion osmosis and all that so you guys just stick on with us as we bring you more and more good content okay so guys bye for now do like our channel like our videos and comment on our videos too bye for now guys